I wanted to show you how to begin the sculpting process here. Basically starting an image, because this is basically what I do every single time. And I thought, I'll show you yes. All right, so to begin, you delete the key from the scene. Um, and the ending object mode, press Shift A. You go to empty, and image. Now in this image file, um, you click over here on the right hand side, there's like this weird three prone shape. Um, and you press open. And you navigate to the file with your image. All right, and once you have this, you go to view in front because uh, when you do the mirror modifier, you want to make sure you're looking from the right angle and they are images from the rainbow. So you rotate on X and then I type in 90, and it's setting it bright, 90 degrees. You scale it to whatever size like a model to be. It's matrix and tidy. And I like to center it. All right. So from this point, um, I like switching to orthographic camera because it's just how bodies are to see things. And I press Shift A, still in big mode, mesh, and then cylinder. And before you do anything else, change the privacy number to six or whatever you'd like it to be, um, because you won't get the chance later. I like to work in six because I feel like even numbers tend to work out better for more quality, but that's just a personal difference. All right, now go over to this wrench shaped icon, which are your modifiers, and add a mirror modifier. Now it won't work in object mode, um, but once you go switch in edit mode, you'll be able to pull them apart and shrink them down. Um, and then you just kind of adjust it to be in the spot that your legs are. I like to start from the bottom just because it now feels more cohesive to me. Um, if you want to change the size of these cubes, go back into object mode and press scale. Uh, the different modes kind of control different things, so it's really good to learn what each does. And then there you go. You're all ready to start.